Well, hey friends, happy day. I've got a garden update for you and a garden introduction. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is Sir Winston Bell, Duke of Gardenshire and Ninth Earl of Compost Brock. He's the newest member of our garden and our family and he's something else. He's also got lots of names like Win-Win, Winster, and Chew Poo Pee. Because that's all he does is chew, poo, and go pee. And try to dominate me. <laughs> so let's pop over and check out what's going on in this spring garden update. I've got everything really that I'm gonna plant planted I want to say that but I am gonna make because um, I've got the soil to make about eight bags more of soil um, so I'm gonna do that and I've got to do some rearranging in the garden um, so that'll be my final kind of reveal of the spring and summer garden is once I've got everything <laughs> arranged um, where I want it to go as we go into that season and then I've got some other fun things coming up here in the near-term future so I wanted to introduce you to our little Winston our wee little man and um, I also want to share with you where I'm at in my spring and summer garden so let's go check it out for all intents and purposes this is kind of where my garden begins I'd put and some artichokes like one here and one over there but this space still wasn't getting enough sun at the time so they kind of died out so I stuck these extra tomatoes here because they're there um, and there's the uh, awesome awesome calendula that I've got going and that brings us to the straw bell garden so what I did over here is I put tomatoes kind of on the ends of each and then you can't see it yet but on this side there's beans planted and then in the middle well there's melons here and um here's actually a pepper and two tomatoes and then again um melons planted here and then beans planted here tomatoes this is a cucumber and we ran out of soaked melon seed so these will probably be cucumbers as well and and then that brings us to the first big section of the tomato garden. And I am so in love with these cages that we created. And um, uh, so, and while we're on that, well, well let's cut over real quick and um, show you kind of how we made those. We're out here making tomato cages and I got this idea from Callie Kim. And um, so we got this um, at the tractor supply and it was about $50. Is that what that tag says? 57. 57. And um, so what we did is for the size of our bags, we figured out that um, basically since these are, basically we would count off one to 24 around to give us our width. And then we just made all the cuts. So including the one that you saw the other day, um, we were able to get 12 um, cages out of one roll and I got two rolls because I'm gonna be caging tomatoes as well as um, zucchini or squashes, a bunch of different squashes. And um, so then the next step, we've just got some cable ties. The process is pretty simple from there. I don't know how deep I'm gonna go into that. I just kind of threw this one together real quick so it needs to be straightened up. So I just kind of started at the center placing cable ties. And then um, for the ones that are in the, like in the bed, I'm gonna snip off and make feet to poke into the ground to help anchor it a little bit more. But the ones that are gonna go into bags, um, the way we did it is they're gonna fit down around the edges of the soil just perfectly. So instead of making a pointy edge to poke my bag, um, we're just gonna rely on the soil and then the, eventually the plant to anchor it. All purpose dead. And um, like I said, he's just kind of counting off the number of squares that he's gonna need uh, to make one. And 
then he's just gonna go along and snip them. And uh, one of them that we have separated over here, um, I'm actually gonna cut that one in half to make like two, I mean, cut it in half this way. Um, and I'm gonna put those around two peppers out there in the bed. So that's how we're making our, oh, that's how we're making our tomato cages. <laughs> You can kind of see that um, some of my older cages are out, but they're on uh, determinate tomatoes. So all the ones that are taller are indeterminate tomatoes. And um, they've all got, you know, a spot here so that I can water. And as time goes on, I'll cut more holes in so that I can get in and get tomatoes. Um, so I'm really, like, like I said, I like this. I like the uniformity of it and I also like that at the end of the year instead of having a bunch of wonky cages all over I can just cut the zip ties and then lay these out flat somewhere to store now I won't say that <laughs> everything is done it's mostly done um, I still have in mind to make eight bags of soil and then um, I've got a couple more things to put in there but I'm definitely not planting any more um, <laughs> tomatoes anywhere because I'm tomato rich everywhere. I'm loving the life and loving um, my strawberries and um, soon I'm going to cue you in on um, how I am having so much success with my strawberries. This one is big and happy and it's got um, we've been eating strawberries off this one already so there's some red ones down there. Um, so yeah everything out here is looking great you can see that um my tree has come back out so um it's a lot shadier over here so that means that a lot of things um really need to shift um i am getting more morning sun over here which is one big goal that i had but you can see that the rest of this is kind of just getting dapple light and i would love that totally in the um in the heat of the summer but right now um when our plants need all the good sun and all the good light i really think that um i've got to shift them that way um and soon probably in the next day or so i'll be getting rid of the um the, what do you call it <laughs> the plant table the table that's got all the crazy starts on it which i really have knocked down a lot of from planting myself in um giving away and selling so now here's the big reveal on this bed right here um, I've got two peppers here on the end and then it's tomato 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 and I kind of created for now a space where I can walk in here and then I've got a rosella and this trellis I've decided is going to end up right here and then trellis over that way um, so I've got some malabar spinach that i planted from seed this is a loofah that i got from michael and i stuffed all kinds of loofah seeds in here just see what happens come what may and another malabar spinach so the malabar and the loofah um, should climb up over the trellis then given the rest of this space um, some afternoon respite and then all around the bed I planted calendula that I grew from seed um, so this is gonna look really really cool when it comes up and there's a sweet pumpkin that I got at the swap and another I think yeah I got both the pumpkin and this melon I think there's two down there yep I need to clip one of those off I've been when I transplant if there's two in the thing um, besides tomatoes and stuff I've been just leaving the second one that way we see who survives <laughs> and if um, both of them are doing good then I just pick the shortest one and I knock it out <laughs> so I still got some moving around to do um, so like I said the this the garden is done but it's now it's got to shift around for um, proper light um, up here my tramp my trap plants are doing awesome these are uh dang it i can't think of the name now it's a huge squash and um it's gonna get really big and i'm hoping that um the squash bugs 
we'll stay up here with these guys. And if they don't, uh, if they don't, and I get squash, yay to that too. So I really only have this chaos, which I'm about to take to plant stands, and I think I'm going to take you along for that um, to cue you in on that goodness. Got a couple more calendula to plant. I've got a dilemma here. I'm not going to talk about it now, but we'll talk about it soon. But what can you just do about these peas? I mean, they're taller than me right now, and um, they're a daily snacking machine for everybody, even so Winston. So, see, my table doesn't look as crazy. This is <laughs> this is all I've got left, and um, I'm pretty pleased with myself. Um, <laughs> so I just got to sort the rest of this out. Some of it I'll be planting. Like I said, a lot of these tomatoes will just continue to be given away. Um, you're pretty familiar with what is going on over here. Soon I'm going to talk about um, one new element that I added to what I'm doing um, when I'm planting because I think it's making a dramatic difference in how my plants are responding and how they look um, like this was newly transplanted and you see how it's kind of this light green this is something I planted too this is something I grew from seed and it's just the vibrance of the green is blowing me away right now and I think I figured out what it is that's for another day and so this bed got um, a squash in the middle of it. It's uh, I let this big dill go to flower. Love to have some butterflies show up for that. What are you doing? What I'm doing? Come here. Come here. Guess he's playing. Then I've got um, a ground cherry in here. I've got one over in the shade too. Winston, what I'm doing? What I'm doing? What I'm doing, what I'm doing, what I'm doing. You getting some sunshine? We're doing a garden tour. Come on, come on, let's go do the tour. And then I do have one more little tomato over there. This is um, all my asparagus and crazy dill lettuce that's over here. Um, so this bed is just going crazy. So it finally got the cover taken off and all my melons over here are finally doing well. I'm in love with this acorn and this spaghetti squash. All I grew from seed, guys, seed. I'm so excited because I've never grown as much stuff from seed as I did this year. This is my yod fa, still um, working its way through going to seed because I'm gonna save seed from that. And then over here is a rosella that I also planted and you know about that so the spring garden is pretty well set like I said I just now need to do some shifting around um, and I've got this last bed to reset um, so I hope that you enjoyed checking out this phase this update on my spring garden and I hope that you loved meeting Sir Winston Sir Winston would you like to say goodbye? Come here. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> what do you have to say? Can you say, have the best day ever? Have the best day ever. Have the best day ever. <laughs> I hope you have the best day ever and we'll check back with you soon.